So, so see, they, they try to agitate you. This is the devil's way of getting to God's people. So for us to walk in love, we have to pray, we have to seek God, we have to trust God that he is, one day is going to take care of all this. And he, and he went on to say, by which of you by taking thought, he said, behold, the fowls are there. They don't, they don't sow, they don't reap, they don't gather in the barn, but yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Not that. Who feeds them? Our heavenly Father feeds them. Does he feed you? He does. Mm -hmm. oh, can we be thankful and say, Lord, I'm glad you fed me today. Now, how many, how many of us lack wisdom? I prayed last night, Lord, you know, we need a direction in life that we could do the best we could with what we have in helping people. And I don't know how to help people. Do y'all? We don't always. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. When somebody's in line and maybe somebody doesn't have enough money to pay for the groceries or somebody doesn't have enough, uh, and, and be kind to them. And, and, and don't have an attitude that you hate people. God does He's not pleased with us. He could have hated us, but he didn't. He loved us. Uh, I still remember the time that when I told him about this fellow over the long Yeah. I, he was out of gas, but I didn't know it. I pulled up, pulled up behind him, bought my horn, went him out of the way, and he stuck his head out the door. I'm out of gas, I can't go. Well, I backed up and left. He had that kind of bad attitude, but I thought about it many times when I came out there. Yeah. I should offer to help that fellow. Yeah. Bought him some gas, and pulled him around out of the gas station, and bought him some gas. Yeah. That bothered me ever since then. It, it does. It convicts you, see, because you should have. Now, you don't want God to convict you about that. So the next time. All right. Next time, you know what happened? Let me tell you what my wife did. We go with the VA and get in the shop. <laughs> get in the COVID shop. I wasn't getting one. She wasn't getting one. She was just waiting on me. Being an obedient, loving wife. <laughs> she turned the key on. Now, when you turn the key on on my Toyota, if you don't open that door, that light stays on. Yeah, light because light. you don't turn those blooming lights off. You know it stays on. <laughs> and you know I was in the truck and turn know I was going to turn it on. Something. Then, then, I'll turn it off. When I get back, she's trying to unlock the door. I've been in there for hours. Yeah, and I had to pay. And the truck was crank. <laughs> <laughs> if that door is open, it won't crank. And it won't crank. You got that door closed until you hit that brake button. Right. Well, anyway, we well, we had, I pulled in. So I got to get somebody to jump me off. And, and there's a petition up here. Where oh, the battery ran down? So oh, I, here he was pushing the truck. I, mean, I said, what in God's name are you doing? He the said, truck get out. in there where somebody can try to jump me off. And he was out there. And, and, was and while I was saying, it's never ready. Anybody got jumper cables? <laughs> no, he's got them. He just needs to. Oh, he might have a vehicle. There were several people that would. They just passed. They would stop. Nobody stopped? Yeah, just Chief a minute. Of Chief of police came. He drove right up to our truck. We didn't know he was Chief of police. And he had a bad He was so nice here. I got to talk to him about the board. He said, y'all never need any help. He said, just need a call. So, see, 
Even the bad things that happen. I got to meet that guy. And see, we get to meet people a lot of times and see people that God puts us in. It, it, it's aggravating to be around them, but God's got us there for a reason. He wants us to be a help to them. And it's hard because they don't appreciate it. You know? And then one day in the truck, we were riding along, and something happened. I don't know. He was really talking over to me. He was really talking over to me. I said, that I believe that. And he lied. And he said, I said, no, it was me and you saying that to me. And he just went on raving. I said, he ain't. There was no need to say that to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, okay. So I have to learn that we do make mistakes, right? We say things we shouldn't say. We do things we shouldn't do. How many times do we have to forgive? Seventy times seven. <laughs> yeah. right. And that's yeah. just one day. That's just that's one day. Maybe don't have that. One thing, that's right. But whatever rubs you the wrong way, generally your mate will try to do it. Because the devil will try to keep now, now why does the devil do that? Tell me, you explain Your prayers me. are hindered when you're at odds with one another. When you're fussing, your prayers are hindered. And you start to pray, and God says, <coughs> you need to kind of get right with your wife there. Uh, 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 Lord, you know what she did. Yeah, but I don't know what you need to do. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So he, you don't have to worry. Don't take no thought for your clothes. Look at the lilies of the field. They, well, they grow. They, they call not, and you do they spin. That's verse 28. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? And so Jesus says, I am going to take care of you. Now, folks, that's not easy to live. And do you worry? Don't we all worry? Don't we all fret? About certain things. Uh, but what good does it start a new job? That's a, that's a it's nerve wracking. The kind of it. You kind of think, well, I left this and I'm, I'm moving into this and, and I want to do right and I, want, I don't want to be nervous and, <laughs> and I want everything to work out. And, but the best thing to do is pray about it. And, and let God lead you, and uh, and, and and know that Ronald's going. He's going to take care of you. Know, <laughs> but the Lord is the one that puts you. He moves you, and He promotes you, and He puts you in places. And so, if just like if Wayne lost his job, he'd be devastated. But would God take care of him? He has so far. He has, hasn't he? <laughs> has, he hasn't failed us, has he? So it's good when we trust God. It's good that we know that God loves us and he takes care of us every step of the way. He takes care of our children. He takes care of us. He, he has done things that are... Now, it doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. Bad things do happen. And they happen to good people. Imagine Job. He's out here... He's scraping this stuff off of him, and he's got sores all over him, and he's lost his family. And, and you say, well, why God allow that? Well, we don't understand the whole picture, but we do know that God blessed the man and took care of him. And God will take care of us. And I don't care what comes or goes. He is our Lord. He's, he says, now, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? After all these things, do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Now, how many of you know that this morning God took an inventory of how many hair you have in your head? That's pretty close. He, he knows that number of hairs we have. 
Every time I take a shower, I wonder what's the more of it. It's falling out, you know. But God knows all about your hair. Does he not care for us? Does he not? Does he, he takes care of the birds. Does he not take care of us, really? And can't we trust him? Do we have to worry and fret, or can we pray and seek God? Now, here's the key to it to me. But seek ye first. Kingdom. The kingdom of God and his righteousness, not yours, but his. And all these things shall be added unto you, yes or no? Yes. Will that work? Is that a promise? How many times could we have been taken out? How many times has God washed over from you? Could have left this earth? How many times has things happened? I, I think about my brother that was taken at a, at a young age. And, and I think, Lord, I just, I don't understand that. But I do know one of these days I'll get to see him again. So we, we go on in life. And we know that God is taking care of it. Then he said, Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. There's enough evil. Now, now, let me say this. When you borrow evil from the tomorrow, God has given you grace for tomorrow and given you grace for the day. And the evil that's going to come against you today is just asking to help you. Folks, we are going to fuss and we are, we're not going to get along and we're not going to like what other people do. Uh, every time I start to do something, and the older you get, you get uh, more dependent on certain things and life changes. And uh, we're going through phases of life, and y'all will be there one day when y'all's kids will be gone. Yeah, but I don't like that. I am a family person. And, you and I said that yesterday. Said, I am very lonesome. Well, well, I miss my family. Of course, my kiddos, they, they're gone. Of course, my family, don't they? My grandkids, they're, they're, they're interested in them old female plants. They're chasing them. I know what it is, man. Yeah. I know you do. See, I, I have no sister. My mother and daddy's gone. I, I have a sister in Mississippi. I never see her. And I have some nieces and nephews, but they are not, they're not, they don't visit. They don't, they don't do that. I've got no one. And then the friends of Hansel, I didn't grow up there. And people, all, all around us, all of them died, you know, but it and should be alive. But, and I use this illustration. I said, and you sleep had, all day long. I said, we had friends, but they escaped. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, God, enjoy, enjoy the time you're having. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, Trey. One of these days you won't have it. He'll be moving on, he'll be having about 12 kids, and, and he'll be coming back home. <laughs> That'd be fun. But it's like Ken's leading case. She knows they're getting older. They're getting older. But while they're still young, I want to bring them to church. I want them to learn about. She, we laid there in bed last night and talked about Jesus and God. And Amen. But there's nothing and like having young people. Or younger people, your family in your house, and, oh, yeah. and stuff. And I, I don't even cook now. Tommy can tell you I don't cook. I don't cook when it's just me and him. Because he may not be hungry, and he may want to snack on something, and I don't need an uh, early breakfast, so we just eat whenever we want. You understand that? Yeah. <laughs> but with the kids, <laughs> I, love, I love cooking. But, you know, uh, I guess she to I watch done, cooking. No, I, I have done my share of cooking. Believe me, I have three that meals time. today. Let me tell you, I've done my share of cooking. But when the girls left home, Danny was working off, and uh, I was working at that time, and then took care of mom and daddy, and I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. But life, life is hard, and it's not easy. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you something. The stress that's on us now, and things are going to face, you're going to be anxious. You're going to be upset. I, I tell Sandra this. I said, I, I have enough of the news. I don't need no more of this news. This news is driving you crazy. 
What is going to happen? What's going to happen? My so life. you sit up and preach and took me doom and gloom. Well, no, I hope not. And I said, Danny, I don't need that today. Okay. There's days <laughs> I don't need to hear that. Well, that's true. That's true. I mean, I know what's coming, but I only just to the same thing over and yes. over. Yes, yes, over. yes. yes. I and then that next chapter did it too. Um, well, I said this next chapter is this. Yes, it is. Judge not that you be not judged. And and God warning He's warning us all the time about certain ways to live and to be blessed. And God will bless you. I'm, I'm telling you. He has blessed us. But we are human. We live in a human a world that's just mean. We live in a world that where people are crazy. We live in a world, but we have our Heavenly Father, and He's going to see about us. And I, my prayer is that you would know His love, know His joy, and, and ask God to help you to grow, you know, to, not, to have His joy and love and peace and, and, and to get along and, and to love one another. See, the greatest thing you can do is love one another. And that's hard to do when you spend time with one another. And... Uh, one of you wants to do this, and the other wants to do that. And, uh, but learn, learn to give and take, and it's not easy, like I say. Well, we live in, we live in Satan's world. Yes. And he doesn't like us. the power of the air, that's right. I asked him, it's getting more like that every day. He'll go by and he'll tell you what all the chapters are about. Yes, that's good. That is good. Yeah. See, that helps. Stay in the Word of where God can speak to you. You don't have to sit and read just chapters of the Bible. I'm a, I, I study something. Just like uh, there's times that I'll start into something and, and I'll, I feel like God wants me to go in a different direction because I won't get nothing out of it. I think the reason I'm not getting anything out of it, that's not what God wants me on. So I'll let God direct your mind. Did you know we have a mind of Christ? God, when God saves us, He said, let mind. this mind. He said, you have to let it be. But we do let have this mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And ask for wisdom. Is it easy to obey God? No, it's not. It's just not. So we all fight that battle. But the more we obey, and they're not bothering us. Don't. Don't, don't, he said, what he's trying to say is, you're going to die. Just face it, you're going to die, you don't know that. There was a 32-year-old pastor, he was preaching the other day. He got up in the pulpit and preached and he got weak. And he went to stand out in his chair and his wife noticed it. What's wrong with you? And he said, well, I'm wrong. He said, I need to go to the hospital. He went to the hospital. He had some kind of disease. He died that way. Uh, that's weak. And you say, that don't happen. Yeah, it happens. There's a blessing. And, and one, of the, one, of the, one of the ladies, I, I listened to Francis Chan quite a bit, and he, his wife got a thing from a lady, and she says, uh, I think I've got cancer, and I think I'm going to go. And, and I believe that. And so she wrote her a note, and she said, Honey, I'm so sorry. And, this and, that. and the lady wrote back to her and said, Listen, wait, wait a minute. We shouldn't hear worried about all of this. She said, I'm going to heaven. Well, that's not a bad thing. She said, If God takes me home, if He decides to take me home, then I'm ready. And said, My life will be taken care of. My family will be taken care of. God's going to see about all of this. And so we can trust Him. Now, that's not easy to do, that's talk. But this lady lives this. And so there's times that we just need to look at life from God's point of view. Did you know the Bible says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints? And we need to, uh, I meant to say something about this this morning. We talked, Danny talked to Wanda. It was supposed to have been a mistake phone call, but it wasn't a mistake. Wanda Thomason and... Uh, she had told Danny she wouldn't be coming to church while all this COVID yeah. stuff is going yeah. on because Wanda's not in good shape and she is not really in good shape right now. She is having major heart problems. Mm. Been in the hospital two and three times. Mm. Um, yeah. 
She's a very private person, you know, you know. And, uh, but she, she didn't go into detail what, it, what, what was wrong or anything, but she's changed doctors and uh, I don't know. So pray for her. Yeah. Uh, but in Margot and different ones. Yeah. Are, uh, Jimmy. Uh, I talked Jimmy, to Jimmy, Jimmy and I asked Jimmy. him, I said, Jimmy, go ahead and get to come back to church. And he said, if my immune panel gets back up, I can't. And, uh, uh, and pray for us. We're, we're taking the shot. But I'm going to take mine February the 1st, Lord willing. Uh, try to help. If that will help anything, then we're going to do it. We don't know. It's experimental. Everything's experimental. You take flu shots, some people are going to take them. And I don't blame them. I don't take them. I don't take flu shots. I don't take them. You know, but I felt like, I felt well the Lord that I needed to take this shot. And so I did. 